glinting off bits of shiny things, tin cans, children's toys, pocket watches, hood ornaments, jewelry. Was this where he was getting all that? What the hell was this? Some kind of massive crow's nest? I was hardly an expert on crows, but I couldn't imagine they'd ever make a nest that large. Charlie paused as if looking or listening for something before he continued. He paused to sniff a few pieces of discarded junk before casually making his way over to the far side of the nest. As he walked, I noticed the shapes of things that didn't quite look like branches or sticks. They were brownish in color and seemed to blend in easily, but the shape of them was all wrong. Branches don't have those smooth edges. Branches don't curve inwards on themselves. And branches don't have eye sockets. I could see the skull of some sort of animal, a large rodent of some kind staring emptily from the interwoven branches. I could see bones with smaller twigs wrapped around them, used almost as additional support for the structure of the nest. And as Charlie walked, I saw something that made my heart begin to beat faster as a sick sensation filled my stomach. I've seen human skulls on TV, but never in real life. Had it not been for the matted black hair that still clung to the scalp, I might have been able to dismiss the idea that it was anyone else. But I knew that hair. I'd kiss that head a thousand times over a lifetime together. I remembered the laughing eyes in those now empty 